Lee, uh, a defeat today uh, in the friendly. How, how do you kind of sum up that game? Um, I thought it was good for us. I thought, um, you know, we've been working a lot sort of over the last sort of week, 10 days in, in the off the ball stuff, you know, making sure that we're organised and disciplined. I thought in the first half we were exactly that. Um, obviously, to get the positives back, you know, McCurdy back into the fray after an injury. Obviously, the main one's Kevin Nisbet in terms of getting in 45 minutes, which is fantastic. And there was some uh, good performances, I thought, from young players as well. You know, young Kanayo in the second half, done extremely well, made a good tackle, showed the passion. Oscar, busy and bright when he came on. Will Fish as a young player, albeit on loan. It's good to see him. I thought he played well as well. So, yeah, I mean, look, there was some, some real positives. Disappointingly in the second half, obviously, with the two goals and the positioning of our uh, three defenders there from crosses, even though it's something that we've worked on this week, is the bit that uh, effectively we've dug people out on. Um, you sorry, sorry. You, uh, you mentioned some of the players that, that came in today. One of the main ones was obviously Kevin Nisbet coming back from a really long spell out. Mm. What did you see from him and how pleased were you to see him come back out and, and play? Well, I just see the quality. You know, there was a few little touches. I think um, our best sort of opportunities to get shots off and gain ground came from a bit of cleverness and a bit of guile in terms of a touch or one that he won the header that flicked Harry McCurdy through. I thought there was one where Dimmy could have cut cut the ball back to Nizzy and Nizzy probably would have, well, certainly would have hit the target in and around the penalty spot. So they're the types of things you're looking for. Are they moving well? Are they part of the organisational structure? Are we getting them the ball enough? That was probably something we could have done more of, fed the forwards a little bit earlier, particularly with two up front. Um, but I thought, like I say, the first half display uh, was solid if lacked a little bit of quality in those wide areas to be able to go and deliver. Um, as we said before, the last action is the most important one. And, um, but there was a lot of good things in the first half. And you mentioned the young players that came in must have been really pleasing. A lot of them that have been impressing for the academy and for the dev squad, it must have been pleasing to bring them in and give them some minutes. Well, that's exactly what this game is for, really, you know, to be able to integrate what we see as the future. You know, these guys like Murray Johnson, obviously in goal, signed a, a new deal, which is fantastic. Um, the likes of Kanayo, uh, we wanted to have a good look at him. He's performed extremely well. And there was the one big tackle he made, which was great, but I thought he was solid and consistent throughout. Um, and and what, they, what they need to do is experience this type of environment, experience the first team players around them, and then when they come in, they feel more comfortable. And just finally then, we've obviously had this game today, but what next is for, for the players in training? Obviously, we've got another friendly against FC Edinburgh to be ready for when we come back to league action. Yeah, well, we're going to continue our work in terms of out of possession to make sure we've got that solidness, that security. Uh, obviously, we need to learn from our mistakes today, which really were just the two crosses. That, that was the, uh, the only poor defending we actually showed today. Um, and then I think it's the sharpness that comes back. We've got a couple of players to come back into that. Miko's obviously um, out. Jake Dor Hayes, we're looking forward to seeing him return. Um, and then it's just continuing the sharpness of the likes of Nizzy, McCurdy, obviously McGeady's now training. Can we get him some minutes against Edinburgh City? And we've got an in-house game next week to allow everybody to have 90 minutes.